Hi there, and welcome back. Uh, we're on to the last episode of the proposition series on how to set up your $100 a month marketing and sales tech stack. Uh, and this is a quick little blast through HubSpot. Um, so by now we've got our website set up. Um, we've got HubSpot set up and integrated with our website. Um, we've got our forms and landing pages and Thrive themes all set up. Um, we've got our business manager set up. And we've got our email marketing system integrated with HubSpot through Zapier, uh, and that's all set up. So now we're getting the full noise HubSpot experience um, for $50 a month. We've got Thrive Themes in there at 19. Uh, and I thought it would be good to finish on a little quick guide on how to use uh, contacts in HubSpot and how to look through uh, your marketing information. Um, so here we go. I've got a contact in HubSpot on the screen in front of me. Um, now, this is me, this is one of my other email addresses, uh, and this is just me testing the forms that we set up for the campaign um, on the marketing and sales tech stack, so the videos you're watching right now. So what you'll see here is you'll see that I have an activity list of all of the activity um, that I've got on this, on this contact in the entire time that they were a contact. Now, if I scroll all the way down to the bottom here, um, I'll see what, how that contact was created. Um, I'll see that that contact converted. Um, so I submitted the hundred. I submitted the name of this form, which is hundred tech capture, uh, on this particular page. Um, that I viewed the page. Uh, that I resubmitted the form. Uh, that I downloaded the email. That I downloaded the guide, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I see everything that goes on with this client. Um, obviously, I can start to add, I'll start to add more information on this contact as I go. Um, the things I can do right now, uh, I can create a deal. So the deals are really useful from a sales perspective to track the size of the pipeline that you've got. Um, your sales team will want to use these. So we talked when we talked about setting up HubSpot about how we customize the deal features. Um, now we're going to create them, so we've got a range of pipelines that we can choose from if we've got the right version of HubSpot. Um, so I create the deal. I select the deal stage out of the deal stages that we have. I choose the amount. Big deal for me. The close date that I'm expecting and HubSpot will offer to create any products. I don't have any products, uh, and that's fine. So I'll click Create. Uh, and that'll push me into the deal stage. So you'll see that I'm the owner of the deal. Um, it's attached to Eden Arts Club and the contact is attached. Uh, and it enables me to start doing things based on the deal. So setting up tasks, activities, emails that are all linked together on the deal. Uh, I can move the stage along. Um, I can do all of that sort of stuff. So that's super cool. Um, but what I, so that's how deals work. Uh, tasks obviously work in a pretty similar way. Um, HubSpot's got a heap of training in the HubSpot Academy if you want to find out more. But what I'm going to do now is take you for a quick blast through the reporting. So the reporting uh, on the basic plan is going to give you um, two dashboards. It's going to give you the sales dashboard and the marketing dashboard. Once you sign up for the more fully featured marketing stuff, you're going to get access to the web analytics dashboard, which I'll show you because it is super useful and it is something that you might want to look at getting in the future once you're really power using, power using HubSpot. Um, so you can customize these dashboards pretty easily by adding reports up here. So there's a whole list of reports that you've got. Um, that HubSpot will give you. So what these reports are is maps of your funnel, maps of your landing pages, all of the top performing stuff. Some of these won't be available if you're not using the premium version of HubSpot, um, but you can customize that. Um, if you're not going to customize it, just click back to the dashboard um, and I'll show you the widgets that I think that I find the most useful. So I really find this marketing performance extremely useful uh, because it's going to show me basically how many people are hitting my website, what percentage of those are turning into contacts, and what percentage of my new contacts I'm turning into customers. Now, because I do a lot of prospecting uh, and sales work outside of our website, I also include offline sources here. So I can include all the people that I meet at networking events and all of that sort of stuff. Um, but 
if you're just using digital, you'll untick that. Now, the other thing I can do is I can set myself a goal. So if I go, um, if I have a goal set up, it'll give me a line um, that I'm aiming for. The line is basically based on, this is a goal of 500 sessions a month. Um, this is a goal of 50 contacts created a month. Uh, and this is a goal of 10 customers a month. So as you can see, because I'm spending my time um, busy working with my team at the moment and building out a whole heap of new processes like this one, I've been a little low on the contacts and the customers, um, and I'm not so worried about the sessions yet. Uh, it'll give me a show of how good my marketing's, how well my marketing's working uh, by showing me how many contacts I'm creating each day, uh, give me some overview of contacts and sources. I won't show you the recently created and returning contacts. That's really useful, but there's some customer data in there. Uh, the other dashboard you'll get access to is your sales dashboard. So you'll see here um, how well you're doing, um, all of the activity that's going on um, in your marketing work at the moment, uh, and all of the sales um, based on the percentage of likelihood of conversion. So you'll see up here that as you hover over it, you'll see how much is at each stage and what the percentage chance of that is. So the final thing we'll look at is the web analytics dashboard. Um, so you'll see your sessions each day for a month, all your engagement metrics, where your traffic's coming from, um, how that's all working, uh, etc. So that's really useful. It's a much cleaner breakdown than a Google Analytics dashboard, and it's much easier to filter. So that's a quick blast through HubSpot uh, and how to use HubSpot. Uh, if you've got any questions about using HubSpot and how to set it up, um, feel free to reach out to the team. They'll help you get all the information you need sorted um, so you can get HubSpot running in your business. We've been using it for uh, over 18 months, and we really love it. We find that it's a much uh, much more intuitive, much easier tool than a lot of other CRM marketing tools out there. Um, so give it a crack. There is a free trial. Um, have a go, see what you can get set up and let us know if you've got any roadblocks. Um, once again, I'd like to thank you for subscribing to a how to set up your marketing and sales tech stack series. I hope you've enjoyed um, finding out how to set everything up. I've enjoyed taking you through it. Uh, and I look forward to chatting you to you in the future if you've got any questions or if you'd like to talk more about how you really make this work at 150% in your business. Um, a little pro tip right at the end, um, I've managed to get my face up here by using Loom. Loom's great. It's a pretty cool tool um, that enables you to record straight out of Google Chrome uh, on your dashboard. And we've just started using it to do these videos, but I'm already using it to show my team how to do stuff remotely. Uh, it enables me to send, to record videos, send links in Slack. It's bloody great. Um, so give that a go as well. Um, once again, thank you. And that's all from me. Cheers.